Welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. And guys, one of my favorites in the entire world got into a little bit of a Twitter spat last night. Sports Illustrated released their 2022 swimsuit edition and their cover model was not your traditional Sports Illustrated model. Jordan Peterson, who is the famous Canadian psychologist, brilliant thought leader, he jumped in and reposted the cover of Sports Illustrated. He said, sorry, not beautiful. And no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. And the internet lost its mind. But before we jump into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and then ring that little bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. Jordan Peterson, why did you do this to yourself? Oh look, here I go again. New York Post jumped on that real quick and said that the SI swimsuit model uh, Yumi New shamed is not beautiful by Jordan Peterson and fans fight back. The gist of it is that apparently, subjectively, according to Jordan, she was not too easy on the eyes. But you know what is easy on the eyes? Blue blocks glasses. They are not made in some big factory in China. They are specifically designed in an optics lab in Australia, and they are the only blue blocks glasses on the market actually backed by research and science. So you know that they work. I've been wearing them for a couple of weeks now, and I can tell you for a fact, my headaches have gone away. I have not had as much eye strain because you guys know I spend the entire day combing through the internet and watching videos for you. So honestly, I need these blue box glasses. Jordan Peterson probably does. You probably do. So go to blueblocks.com slash Cooper and use code Cooper for 20% off of your order, or just click the URL in my description and don't forget to use code Cooper. All right, back to the Jordan Peterson debacle. I think that it's a bit touchy to just say that she's not beautiful because I mean, look at her, like she's got a stunning face. Her hair is lovely. You know, I'm not going to say that she's ugly, but I mean, it is just interesting that Sports Illustrated chose her and it's part of a broader conversation about, you know, the body positive movement and how during a pandemic where overweight people were at a much higher risk, our government and society and social media said that we should all just sit on our asses and get fat at home. So I get where Jordan is coming from, but to be fair, might have not been the greatest way to phrase it, but I get his point. You just, all of these conversations, you have to have nuance and nuance on Twitter is impossible and everybody's gonna be mad at you for something. But interestingly, even though people were saying that the model's fans were fighting back, the first posts that I saw were people actually like tentatively agreeing with Jordan. Like somebody said, let's all skip over the fact that she's standing in front of the word sports. Yes, again, kind of ironic. Someone else said he's kind of critiquing Jordan Peterson and says beauty is subjective. I agree with that. Uh, big fan of JP, but not totally sure why he weighed in on this one. <laughs> no pun intended. That was good. I think the larger point is about health. I'm overweight by a few pounds, but I don't expect to be praised for it. The new trend of celebrating obesity is counterproductive. Yes, that is a nuanced way to address it. Great comment, support that. All I'm saying is if you're in a COVID high risk category, the cover page of Sports Illustrated might not be for you, but hey, not my magazine. Yeah, they, that, the point that I made. This comment was getting posted everywhere. People were taking screenshots. Someone said, sheesh, Jordan Peterson, big fan here. I find my girlfriend with a body type like this quite beautiful. Dial it back a bit, homie. And somebody responded to him and said, yo, he called your girl ugly. Do something. <laughs> oh, but like genuinely, like people had nuanced critiques and nuanced support. Felt like it was pretty rational. The left lost its damn mind, did not want to find any kind of common ground or even have any conversation about it because why would they? They never want to. I can't even get mad at Jordan Peterson. Talking like a mad old wizard and saying <laughs> like the corrupt forces of tyrannical compassion are here to savage all that is beautiful to man because you saw a chubby girl in a bikini is more funny than anything. What in the hell is he talking about? Okay, just like calm down. Go kick rocks. I don't think that you are smart enough to understand anything that he's saying, so you're probably just mad about it. One said, if Jordan Peterson found me hot, I would end it all. That's a wrap on life for me. <laughs> why, why do you care what Jordan Peterson thinks about you? He does not. I guarantee he does not. Jordan Peterson, Kermit Lee, colon. Allow me to rebuff your asinine assertion that thick, <laughs> thick thighs starts crying. Thick thighs save lives. That was actually funny. It would be superb if women on Instagram would stop using Jordan Peterson voiceover for their motivational reels. No amount of inspirational buzzwords make up for the real life disappointment of his lack of respect for women. He doesn't have a lack of respect for women. He has a lack of respect for this culture and this society that promotes obesity under the guise of body positivity and self-acceptance. Completely throwing out the window any 
ideal of healthiness or anything that would be productive for society because we want to make people feel good about themselves. I'm sorry. Like we live in this incredibly like self-aggrandizing culture where if you have any kind of problem, like it's not your fault and it's something that you can't control and you avoid all responsibility and you want the entire rest of the world to like bend a knee and tell you that it's all fine. And the way that this society is going and this culture and these mindsets, it's incredibly unhealthy and not productive for the future of our country, for the world, anything. And that's really what he's pointing out. Again, it was just a quick tweet, but it's part of a broader conversation, which apparently people don't want to have. Talking about that's healthy. I know what healthy is. But that was not the end of this whole fiasco. After people got so angry at him, Jordan put out this tweet. He said, I recently stopped accessing Twitter for three weeks as an experiment. I had some of my staff post video links, etc. It was a genuine relief. I started to read and write more. And then I started using it again a few days ago. And I would say that my life got worse almost instantly. <laughs> And then he did a quote tweet and he said, the endless flood of vicious insult is really not something that can be experienced anywhere else. I like to follow people I know, but I think the incentive structure of the platform makes it intrinsically and dangerously insane. So I told my staff to change my password to keep me from temptation and I am departing once again. If I have to say something, I'll write an article or make a video. If the issue is not important enough to justify that, then perhaps it would be best to let it go. I think that that is a pretty nuanced way to take it. Now, a lot of people are making fun of him and are saying like, he couldn't handle the heat. He couldn't dish it out. He couldn't like, he dished it out and he couldn't take it. No, I think he is acknowledging that maybe that was not the best way to go about having that conversation. He's basically saying if he is going to enter a conversation that begs nuance, that begs any kind of, you know, complexity of thought, which is most things in the world, he will make a video or he will write about it so that people can actually hear his entire opinion about it rather than just shooting off one off tweet and then getting ratioed by the entire internet. I honestly think this is a pretty base take. And now I love seeing him on Twitter. I do enjoy his sassiness. I do enjoy his one-offs, but maybe his best work will be, you know, in these broader intellectual projects. So I don't really think it's a bad thing, but again, I'm biased because I'm a huge fan of his. So whatever Jordan does, I will support. Do you want to be the only person not caught up on the internet's latest news? I didn't think so. So make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell so you never miss an episode.